Welcome back to another Valheim news video, and I'm sure you're all very eager, I know I am, for anything Hearth and Home related, and we've got some snippets to talk about today. Of course, for those of you who don't know, Hearth and Home is the next big update and is expected to drop in the not so distant future if their roadmap is anything to go by. Now looking through the page, the first thing they mention is the excitement in the studio. Even when not working, they're sending photos or videos and artwork to one another. And if you haven't already, do check out their Instagram page. They quite often have fan art displayed on there. They're also looking for a larger office as they're hoping to expand the team. And if we're lucky, they'll even give us a tour, even if it's not in person. If you hadn't noticed, they've also been hard at work making some tweaks and fixes for all of us. Most recently, they provided an update which overhauled the terrain modification system, which is a big thing. If you had lag spikes around modded terrain in your previous save, you can now enter the console command opt terrain to convert the old terrain modifications to the new version. Of course, that does require you to open the game in console mode, However, any new terrain modification will automatically be done, saving you frames so that you can spend more time playing with friends. Speaking of which, that brings us to today's sponsor. ServerPro offers virtual private servers to host your Valheim games. With a custom, easy to use control panel, you can set up your own server with just a few clicks. So click the link in the description to get started today. Invite your friends to enjoy a hassle-free gaming experience you'll never forget. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, back to the news. Now, the previous patch also fixed a Draugr spawn bug, which meant that they could spawn inside stones. What a cunning way to camouflage themselves. They also changed the price of raising the ground with stone, making it cheaper. But this is hardly a buff because this update, they also removed the ability to raise the ground considerably with one click with the hoe which you can see me demonstrating here. Now what we need to do is spam stone and energy to get close to building anything to the same height, which is actually a bit frustrating because I spent the greater part of about half an hour the other day just leveling out ground, trying to bring it up just above seawater so that I could do a video and it just took forever. But I mean, it is what it is. Maybe there'll be a solution for that in the next update, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Now, after covering the recent patch notes, the post went on to talk about some of the other things they've been working on. So we've got a new troll design, which is looking as menacing as ever, with more hair, more overgrown nails, and a more defined belly from all those gnaws they've been eating. And that wasn't the only character to also receive a bit of a makeover. Apparently the second and third boss have also received a fresh makeover to be a little more in line with their vision. Unfortunately, we haven't got a sneak peek of those, but don't worry, these enemy updates will be coming in the next patch. I must admit, I'm excited to see how they look in game. Even if it does mean that I'm going to be fighting the same boss over again, I'm still down for it, especially if they've got a new makeover. Which brings us to Hearth and Home. By the sounds of it, the big update isn't ready to drop just yet. They've mentioned how they'd rather wait for it a little bit longer to be in a state where they're happy with it. Which, though we're all thirsty for content, I feel is the best choice. After all, we gamers have a habit of getting through content much faster than they can put out. So I'd happily wait a little longer. That doesn't mean though that they haven't provided us with some sneak peeks of what's coming. First off, they mention in this image there is something new and they also ask us what it could be part of. Well, we have a pair of shoes which look like they're from Iron Greaves, so nothing new there. The item behind the shoes looks like the Raven Throne to me, which could be suggesting Hearth and Home is related to ravens. After all, the first sneak peek showed off a sculpted raven on a wooden ledge. 
And if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on that teaser image, you may have not spotted what I've seen. I will post a link to that video above as well. I must admit that really did get me excited. And speaking of ravens, if you do like builds, do check out my Raven Hill Castle time lapse or my Hobbit home. I'll put a link in the top right hand corner for you. But returning to the throne, there isn't anything new here. Even the detailing looks very similar, which suggests it's one of the other items in the image. So we have what looks like gold coins immediately to the left and to the right, what I believe is a personal chest. So the only thing in left in the picture other than the stone floor is this little wooden thing here. And it really is a tease. It could this be a throne room and this a wooden stand or a wardrobe? I can't think of anything else that could, this could possibly be. So if you do have any ideas, please do let me know in the comment section below. But don't worry, this wasn't the only teaser they provided us with. And to be honest, they really are just teasing because the second image is what looks to be a large section of dugout soil, which they say is a pretty big part of the next update and many new items will relate to it. Now I'm guessing this patch of soil has been dug out as we have stone at the bottom, whereas if it was raised, it wouldn't have any stones in it. So for those of you wanting a return of the master hoe, I'm sorry, this isn't pointing to it. But potentially it could be pointing to a new tool for leveling ground. To be fair though, they didn't actually say that there was anything new in this picture, just that lots of new stuff relates to it. And with us knowing that there'll be a greater focus on food, could this be hinting at needing to get fresh water or water for, for your crops? Again, let me know your thoughts below. Perhaps we need to build wells, who knows? But hopefully we'll be seeing a bit more information about this next update in the coming weeks. And don't worry, I'll let you know if there's anything worth reporting on. So if you're enjoying the content, why not hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. And don't forget to drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Anyway, guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching and thank you to all of our amazing supporters, most notably our Solar Eclipse patrons, The Calamity, Cerebral Tag and Trebor, as well as our Lunar Eclipse patrons, Matt Lippard, Chris McCabe, Lord of July, and our Blood Moon of the Day, Kariv Johnny. Anyway guys, until next time, as always, ciao for now.